ho, 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 about you piss off. Oh, hello there, everybody, on this festive eve. It's me, I Sorrow Productions, getting ready for the winter spirit by freezing my testicles in ice cold water. And in case you didn't watch my video yesterday, which I highly recommend you do if you're into something other than Hearts of Iron 4, which you all seem to complain about me doing, but none of you watched the non Hearts of Iron 4 videos. But I left an update pinned on that video, letting you know exactly when the face reveal is happening and so far we've got it planned to happen on the 20th on the Yogscast Jingle Jam Stream Arena for Charity Beano. But of course, if you're not around to watch that, I, I'll probably do an update in January, just doing it on my channel as well. But it, it, the face reveal will officially first be on that stream. So guys, it's the final push. Hit that subscribe button. Get your grandma to hit the subscribe button. And of course, if everybody that was fucking watching this video already, just hit the fucking subscribe button. I wouldn't have been still saying this for the past two fucking months. But anyway, it's the last stretch. Please consider hitting the subscribe button. No more intro. We're gonna play fucking Bhutan. But Bhutan is impossible to play, I sorrow. That's why we all suggested it. They've got no manpower or fuck. Oh my god, I saw a Productions. You're cheating. Bhutan doesn't have a focus tree! Well, that's where you're wrong, kiddo, because Bhutan has now got a focus tree, albeit from, from a mod, and it, it is a pretty in-depth focus tree, I won't lie. Oh, I haven't played vanilla in so fucking long. Just look how fucking fast it's going. Oh my god, I can't handle the speed! Ah, do I want some weapon factories, some construction industry, a mix of both, or do I just want to go full war machine? The Bhutanese war machine is coming! The leader of democratic Bhutan is called Pinor. Fucking Pinor. It's important to have a balanced industry in Hearts of Iron 4, that's why I'm only doing military factories. Oh, the war machine is growing! And whilst we have no supplies to actually fuel our factories, we don't need them because we've got two tungsten! Yeah, you're right, I should get something else over the military factories. I really need to balance out my economy. Oh, never mind, accidentally. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go for another military factory idea. Oh. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to do some boring like the fucking politic. Now, if anyone's ever played Bhutan before, they probably know why exactly I'm not going to get ourselves a new government. No, we're going to fix our outdated government to bring them more in tune. And I would never get rid of our glorious leader, uh, Jingmei Wungchuk. He is glorious, a national treasure, and ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, well, you know what they say, out with the old and with the new. We'll see what we've got now. I'm sure he's going to be just as great as Jingmei and... Nah, he's not. Rise, the people of Bhutan, and join the armed for- Oh, I guess I've already conscripted every single person in the country. <laughs> but don't worry, I've gone ahead and conscripted the cats too, and now we've got 43,000 men, mostly animals, to work with. Oh, to bet. That's a cool hat. Don't mind if I borrow it, do you? So if you ever wondered who would win in a fight, five Buddhist monks or 45,000 cats, now you know the answer. Oh, this is great. Not only. Am I increasing my land tenfold over? I'm also increasing the whole resource production of the country by 100%. Look at that. We got four tungsten. But you know what would be better than four tungsten? <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. Two fucking chromium. All stand and rise for the power of the Thunder Dragon Empire. Oh my god. Someone in the world wants to buy my tanks for toasters. Look, oh, they're giving me consumer good factories minus 20 per- This is amazing. Oh, hey, China. I know you're absolutely getting your shit pushed in by Japan right now, but you wouldn't mind if I just snuck in and took a little tiny, whiny little piece of Bhutanese land. I'm just a tiny little Bhutan. I can't do any harm. I won't lie, I completely forgot this part of the focus tree even existed. But then again, don't think I really needed it. <laughs> the Germans declaring war on Poland. Nobody cares about that. You should all be worrying about the rise of the Thunder Dragon Empire. Well, what a turn of events this has become. Bhutan from a one province state in the middle of... Wait a second, what the fuck, Hirohito? Where's your goddamn chins gone? Oh, oh, phew, I, I must have been, I must have just been daydreaming that. There, there you go, here, here, back to normal. Oh, well, we managed to do it. We beat China and apparently Japan's got zero war score in this fucking war. What? 
It's fine. I gave I gave Japan some land anyway. They are our ally, but we made we made sure that the Thunder Dragon Empire got a healthy amount of land too. And boy, can you smell that, guys? That's the sea! Boy, we've never seen the sea. We haven't even seen water before in Bhutan. This is amazing. We've just been nourishing ourselves on Gatorade and Sunny D. I don't understand how we've not seen the seawater before. Yeah, I realize I probably shouldn't have had the Coring States mod on with this, considering uh, I'm at 1 million manpower. But to be fair, I was conscripting cats, so... Well, I gotta hand it to the Germans. They're doing pretty well for the first time in a while. But then again, I've been playing some really weird mods. That's probably why they've not been doing well. Italy, not not doing so well. Not not doing well at all, honestly. Um, but there is like a tiny sliver of France here, which is odd. Why you can't invade Sinkiang, guys? Sorry, they're communists. They'll join the co- No, they're not aligned because I murdered their leader. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, is that- Three chromosomes! That's more than I've ever had in my life! Just realised this whole time we haven't researched new tools, so we've basically been making pretty high-grade military factories with our bare hands and wooden sticks. Well, the Soviets are off my board, which means there's only one thing coming, and it's another type of thunder! Ah, it looks like Hirohito's being a slippery centipede with those fucking chins and decided to declare war on the Allies, when whilst I'd love to join that war, I'm just not quite ready for it. Why build your own tanks when you can literally get two 70% research bonuses for armor technology by just stealing the British ones? Ah, uh, super heavy tanks done in 67 days in 1941. Well, the thunder is definitely roaring and the Soviets and the Germans are at war, but the Germans aren't actually doing that well. Unsurprisingly, uh, the, the Soviets have way more troops, so to be fair, but... Oh. Oh no, it's basically cancer. It, it starts small, but then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, how long will it take to do modern tanks? Oh, seven days, you say? Oh, Japan actually pushed through Burma. That's the first time they've done that before. And oh yeah, things aren't going well for the Germans. And I, I kind of want to go to war with the Soviets. Yeah, I think I'm going to capitalize on this before the Germans capitulate. So I think I can, I can manage to. Uh, Oh my god, maybe, maybe, maybe fucking not. Oh my god, what is this? Yeah, yeah, that didn't, that didn't go well at all for the Axis, did it? It's, Jesus, that was, that was pretty fucking, why is the German Reich still here? What the fuck? We've got East Germany, West Germany, and the German Reich. You'd, you'd think they probably wouldn't let Hitler have a piece of the country. Oh, but then again, America's taken bits of Spain for some god knows reason. The Great Thunder Dragon Empire in Japan combined is taking down the Soviets. Isn't that right? J oh. Yeah, Japan's Japan's not doing too well. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, wait, no. If they capitulate, I'm fucked. Oh, I don't even want to look at Japan. What did the Soviets... T oh, they took all of... Fucking China! Ah! Thankfully, I have my secret weapon. Oh, hey, fuck! Look, I, I, I actually did it. I, I actually fucking did it. Although it's really not that impressive, this mod is it? It's actually really fucking overpowered, considering I have 22 million manpower. Oh no! I didn't focus to fucking put me a war of India. I didn't even realise. God! Damn it, Thunder Dragon Empire! Yeah, I don't know why you're pretending to be France there, India, but you're not tricking me, all right? You're not tricking me one bit! So I've been going around flipping countries to fascists, and I've managed to get Japan back to fascists, but apparently they don't want to join my faction, even though they're in my old faction, because they want to join the Axis. Now, where exactly is the Axis, you say, oh, sorry? I can't see it! Can you see it now? Can you see it here in Slovakia? They would rather join this! than the Thunder Dragon Empire. Oh, I think that's the tastiest encirclement I think I've ever actually done. There's, there's like over a hundred units. Right, Slovakia doesn't exist anymore and the Axis is 100% dead. Are you going to join me now, Jap- Hirohito! Oh, it's so goddamn beautiful. 
Fighting wars past 1944 tends to mean that the Allies and even the Axis will just shit out troops and they'll just up their combat whips to fucking anything. It's an absolute pain. But unfortunately, they're not doing too well against my 44 combat with modern tanks from the fucking future. And apparently America's not even bothered to put troops on their fucking ports. That's how little they were expecting the Thunder Dragon Empire to actually turn up. Turn up? Nah. Nuke down for what? With nukes, it's way too easy to capitulate America, considering that I haven't even beat Canada yet. Well, there you go. There's the Thunder Dragon Empire that I dusted with. We've got, we've got a nice little empire carved out for ourselves in the world. I mean, we've reinstated Germany back to their fascist roots. France is also part of us because I accidentally put a fucking coup in their nation. And I f it fired before my accidental war. But th this is a pretty good game. Of course, it's not as... Um, it's not as hard as it actually is to play Bhutan in, in vanilla, but it was still a fun game regardless. Um, just realised this guy's the guy that's in charge of France. I, I've got nothing wrong with that guy. That guy, there's nothing wrong with him. He could be the leader of France all he wants. But if you like this video, leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave me a suggestion down below. And how about you join the Thunder Dragon Empire before I shove my fist up your ass.